Hello friends, back again with another live. I hope you're all doing pretty well. I'm actually gonna get a game um, right the fuck now. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'm gonna get a game now and this team is pretty cool. I built this team, this is the... We are playing on the pre-bank ladder because the genocide suspect is still going on. I got my Rex like on the second day, but the regular OU ladder um, didn't come back yet, so it's still a suspect ladder. And I'm not really trying to play on a suspect ladder. I've already done that enough. Um, I'm waiting for the regular OU ladder to come back, because if I let on the suspect ladder now, I will just lose, like, the ranking will just be gone anyway, so I pretty see the point in doing that. And I made this really uh, cool balance team, Bennett B. Werbus, uh, plus Wish Pass, Alamomola. I've used this strategy before on my channel, but this this team is a bit different. We have Specs Lele, and we have Assaultus Majorna, really nice pivot um, to check Ash Greninja. Um, we have the Sijuai um, for Tapu Koko, with a Defox support for the team, and U turn for momentum. I mean, Majorna also provides is a nice check for like it's a nice check for Tapu Koko, because some Tapu Koko run brave, but for the Sijuai, so um, okay. Looking at this matchup, Sharpedo can be a threat. I feel like um, he's gonna leave with Skarmory, um, and I don't see what I lose from. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the cross. I'm, I've been thinking for way too long. Okay, he leads off with the Sejuai. He could be a um, Spirit Shackle, SD Pass into Sharpedo, so that's really scary. I'm gonna go hard. Actually, no, hard type of letter is a bad play. I'm gonna go hard beware predicting a spirit shackle on SD. Yeah, predicted. As we are immune to um, that, as this guy has some friends joining, so I might just ignore Spectre is. Um, I'm really tired. I'm, I hope I don't forget everything I wanted to say. I wanted to tell you guys uh, like a few things. But let me think about this play first. So. Hammer arm is kind of obvious, he might go Gengar, he might go Skarmory. I cannot afford to return because this is a distant UI. I feel like Ice Punch is the best in ground play because it hits the Gengar and this. It doesn't do really much to the Skarmory. But I don't. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I could have gone for Hammer Arm, but I feel like that was way too obvious to, and he could have gone Gengar. So now he's gonna go for Rocks or some type or something like that. <laughs> I'm kind of stuttering over my words because I haven't. Re I'm not feeling too well. I have been uh, sick the past few days. Um, I'm thinking if I should go to Crossma or Majorna. Majorna is fine. I don't know why I'm taking so long. My brain is like not working, but I just had this. It just popped up in my head. Yeah, I kind of feel a little bit better today. I want to record. And yeah, I'm just gonna volt switch out here with a Solvis Majorna. Okay, this is a joy. Hmm. So I feel like he's the deaf this joy, right? So I can bring my specs tabu lily here. And Moonblast destroys something. Now nah, I wanna click thund Thunderbolt or HP fire. Nah, I'm just gonna click psychic. <laughs> Dude, I can't decide what to click. If he goes hard shot Peter, this guy's real as fuck. He lifts the psychic. He's max the death. Now I get the free switch into Sharpedo, that's fine. Actually it's not really fine. Goes in the Gengar. I don't know why he went in the Gengar when he could have gone Sharpedo. Cause Gengar is not really a threat because I have uh, Salvas Megirna and Spadef Alma Mola. I'm gonna bring Alma <laughs> Alma Mola in. Um Okay, what else did I want to tell you? I don't know why you would ever such one there, cause I have a Magierna, but okay. I'm gonna throw up a wish. I hope this, um, he has hypnosis, what? I hope this, uh, audio is fine for you guys. Um, I'm speaking, like, from... I went a bit farther, like, a bit more away from my microphone. I don't know if his last move would be T-Bolt, I've seen that before. No, his last move has to be Focus Blast. I'm clicking Skull here. 
Wait, Sludge Bomb? Yeah, Sludge Bomb doesn't kill me if you... I don't know why I was so scared there. Yeah, I can just uh, protect you on the hypnosis or some sh sh something like that. Okay, I'm really getting kind of tired. Maybe I shouldn't be recording now. But I um, I care about my subscribers. I've said this before. And I want to get some content out. And I think I haven't uploaded in like three days. The time this video goes up, probably four days. Because my slow internet will take his time till this is up. As I hope he doesn't crit me. Okay, I'm really lucky he doesn't even poison me. Yeah, this is a bit stally, not the m most interesting part. I actually had a Wi Fi battle with this team like 20 minutes ago. Wi Fi battles are so cool. I wish I could upload Wi Fi battles to my channel. But I don't have a capture card, unfortunately. And there's like another method to record Wi Fi battles. But, um. That didn't work because you need like a really good computer for that. Like, you need like Citra emulator. And it didn't work on my computer. I tried like a few different things to get work because I wish I could upload a wifi battles for you guys as how much has skull been doing the next skull is gonna kill so oh god he's destiny bond at me that boy lured me holy shit i don't agree with his play but he completely got me so i cannot talk shit um let me just put ignore point man this guy just got me that was embarrassing um so let's think here Look, you know it's pretty. Oh god, I lost my wish pass there. But yeah, I'm gonna go beware here. And fire off. Uh... Yeah, I cannot afford to over predict. I have to ice punch. Yeah, he was banking on me over predicting. Because if he goes uh, for, for roost like he did, and I go for a return, I'm pretty screwed. And I can go to Sejua here and I hope he's not actually he's probably Brave Bird scum. They all run Brave Bird. Don't they? In pre bank. God I regret this play already. Never mind. He just goes for spikes. Let's be defog and I'm I'm gonna go for a slow U turn here. If he has Brave Bird it's whatever. He just gets up a spike again. Oh, my entire team is grounded, it's annoying. I'm gonna go to Tapu, Tapu Lily here because it's choice backs, and I can click Thunderbolt. Uh, I guess if he goes Gudra or Whimsicott, I'm kind of in a bad position. Yeah, he goes Gudra. Uh, get a nice para juicy. Um, I didn't want to go for Psychic because he has a Sharpedo. Otherwise, Psychic would have been a play. Gudra has AV and eats that up, but Psychic is no joke. I would have still have. Like that would have done some damage to Gudra. As I'm um, spit after situation should be my play because most Gudras are, are special. Yeah. Summon Earthquake for Heatron. I guess now Heatron is not available pre bank. So you have Flame Thrower, we eat that up, let's roost. Um what else? I'm really um blanking out here on my words. I wanted to tell you guys like some other things. So yeah, I'm really trying to bring you like daily content well, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to to daily content but I wanna at least bring you guys like every second or every third day and upload I feel like he's gonna flamethrower here so yeah should I stay in and take the hit Yeah, I feel like floor cannon is fine. He eats that for for lunch. Okay, he crits me. That is really annoying. Uh, that sucks a lot. Not gonna lie. Because Magiana could live a hit from Shapiro. I guess it still lives a hit at that range. 
Speaking of sharp P though, I'm gonna go hard beware here. Uh, I'm gonna pause it and call how much psychic things do. Nah, I'm, I'm, I trust my Pokemon. I trust my beware. He didn't mega evolve. He doesn't get a defense drop and I can fire off uh, a hammer arm here. As he mega evolves, goes for psychic things and beat that for lunch. We hit, Shabito goes down, amazing. I was worried that we might miss that. And he just forfeit, so let me pause it real quick. So yeah, I just checked my rank, we are 1571 now. That's not even that high to be honest. But at least it's not like a low ladder. Okay, this guy has a Mega Sableye potentially, probably Mega Sableye, but would you want regular Sableye? Um, and then he has Pelipper to set the rain, but he doesn't have anything to abuse the rain. That's a bit strange. The only thing the rain does is helps him. He has like three fire weaknesses. It helps him, so fire is neutral versus his uh, fat mons like Celestia, Magirna, and Tapu Bulu. So, how am I gonna win this match? I feel like I'm gonna lead off with my Tapu Lele here. The thing is, he might. Like, he's either leading with Sableye or with uh, Mammal Swan, right? Yeah, I feel like Tabulet is overall my best lead. So, okay, I'm gonna... I don't know how much Earthquake it does. If it Oko's me, I don't think I wanna stay in. Let me cut that. Okay, he would have to be like Life Orb to have a chance to kill me. And most Amazons are Sash. So I'm just gonna Moonblast this. As he goes Sailor and it sacks at turn 1. Okay, interesting decision. That's the reason I didn't psych it, because he has a Sable Eye. As he says GG and forfeits. <laughs> so <laughs> that was funny. Okay, we got another one. We are nearing the 1600s now. Mm, I um at first I had Pinsir on this team, but I had a tab of Lily just for powerful wall breaking. And at first I had Saisha because I wanted to hit Chansey, but I realized Chansey is not even common. So I put Psychic. And I put t because this team struggles with uh, Celestia, that's the only, like, that's the main reason I replaced Pinsir for Tapu Lily, so I can t this thing called, yeah, Celestia. So this guy has probably a Z-move Guard Charm. Yeah, it could be Rocks Charm and Spike Skarmory, but some people like to run Spikes plus Rocks and Skarmory. I actually saw uh, Spikes wasn't released on Skarmory pre-gen, pre-bank, I don't know why I said pre-gen. But yeah, I just found out it actually is available, I think. Um, I like to have a little lead again. If he leads Tabu Coco, we change the terrain. He leads Marek, oh, that's not good. If he's Spadef, gonna have to do some calcs. Now, if he's Spadef, he loves a Psychic. Psychic has actually a 63% chance to go Max Spadef Marek. Oh. I think I wanna go for the roll. Tapu Lily is like important and I shouldn't go for it, but yeah, I get like either he's offensive or I get the roll. He might have he might have thought that I would be um scarf Tapu Lily on this team because looking at the rest of my team, um, my team is kind of slow. So yeah, that would make sense. As yeah, this joy is my check for this. The thing is do I need Majorna healthy for anything? Because I'm kind of fearing that he's brave for Tapu Cook. He might be brave, but type cool. But yeah, I'm still gonna go to Sigil right here. Okay, just vote switches out. That's completely fine. He's alive. If he t it there, next turn would have been kind of like I probably would have gone the journey next turn scouting for brave. But he goes Skarmory. Mm. I don't want this being brave, but either. And how how fast is Skarmory compared to the Sigil? I think I'm barely faster. She Skarmory is base 70. Yeah, actually it's a speed tie. So that's not really... Should I go for that? Like, should I go for U-turn risking getting birth bird? I don't think that's worth it. Um, He doesn't have a T-Bolt switch and so I could go into Tapu Lily here. Nah, he hasn't. He has, he has a guard jump. That's not worth it. Well, let's just go Magirna. Magirna is, the, is a good play here. Cause he cannot retouch really me, he just gets up that spike. Yes. 
I want to Volt Switch here, he's probably gonna go sell Stealer. If he goes Garchomp, this man is wild. I have no idea what to tell you if he goes Garchomp. And yeah, I'm gonna make this video a bit shorter if he goes Garchomp. Man, people are so wild. I'm gonna Florican this because I'm not playing around with threats. I love Earthquake. Pretty sure I love Earthquake. Yeah, I was thinking he might make that play, but. I don't really agree with this play, this guy doesn't make any sense to me, why would you make that pivot play for no reason? So let's do the walls this anyway. And he goes Garmory, okay this guy doesn't make any sense. Okay that did so much at like, minus 2, what the heck. So let's do strong. Um, I can go Tapu later here I feel like and fire off a Psychic cause Psychic is gonna crush this man. Discovery is so dead to like because it's Fist of Scannery, obviously, because that votes for shit so much. Yeah, I'm kind of noticing that I'm not feeling like too, too well right now that I'm speaking for a few minutes. Cause I hope my voice is clear. As I'm um, Spadef, I don't know if he's Spadef says so that Psychic did a lot. Mm. I wish I T bolt, but the guard I'm just if you didn't have the guard I could T bolt freely. Yeah, like my sentences. I'm not speaking my sentences to, to an end sometimes. How do I beat this like Table is like nice to keep, right? It's not necessary but it's really nice to keep. So I feel like this to is fine. Yeah, he heals back with the Celes dealer if he goes for like yeah, okay let's see. Call it a prediction. I wanna just go for Defog here. Because the spike is annoying. Phelame Sword doesn't do much because I'm speed death. Hopefully he doesn't burn me. Thank you. Yes, he's healing back, which is really annoying. But do I care? I think I can U-turn out here. U-turn out is fine into the top of Lily here. Oh, he goes scouring and we get momentum. That works too. And his Cell Steel doesn't take two Psychics, so we go. Nah, Psychic Terrain ends this turn. Hmm. I could go for T Bolt, but that Guard Trump. May actually cock if Moonblast would kill him. Okay, yeah, so Moonblast actually kills Skarmory at 50 or oh, 48%. Yeah, at 40 it kills it too. I just. Like I was saying earlier. If Moonblast kills, I, w I meant this Camry, right? Because some of you might have thought I meant if Moonblast kills the Guard Chomp, because I was talking about the Guard Chomp. That's why I don't want to go for T Bolt because of the Guard Chomp. Yeah. As he goes, so, so, okay. Mm. That's a bit questionable because what if a T Bolt there? It works out for him, so I can do I can say anything. I thought he might have gone. I thought he would have stacked the scum reader, I think that was a better play. Cause his play obviously worked out for him, yes, right? But risk was reward. I don't think it was worth for him risking that. I'm kind of forced to roost here because I don't want to lose my disjoy. Yes, he's getting back healthier, which is annoying. Uh, I'm just gonna U-turn out here into my I don't want to go Tapu Lele because he could potentially go for a heavy slam. Mm. I could gonna cross my get up my rocks. I could go Elamomola and try to burn this. I feel like I cross my get up my rocks is overall fine. As just flamethrowers mindlessly. I don't know why he keeps doing that when I could have gone into Tapu Lele there. Or when heavy slam, I think there's more to. Yeah, heavy slam does more to this situation. Okay, he uh, probably wants to defog, he goes hard type of thing, but this is fine, we gotta switch back into Tabulator. Like, Tabulator just destroys this guy. Yeah, okay, I was I was speaking about Wi-Fi battles earlier. I had a really cool uh, Wi-Fi battle, I can just psychic here. I had a really cool Wi-Fi battle versus uh, Dennis the Menace. Nice 38%. I wanted to upload that, but yeah. I'm gonna try to record it with my with my camera. My camera is decent, it's not the best, but it's decent. The problem is um, I didn't have 
I think it was back into Fini. This is still gonna hurt. Holy cow, that did so much. <laughs> this is why I love Modest. Like, Modest still outspeeds. Um, Modest type Lily. Oh, he's faster. I guess that's the downside of being Modest. But I wouldn't have to hit KO him with 10, probably. Modest type Lily still outspeeds stuff like Jolly Boswell, which, like, Boswell is a threat to this team. Um, yeah, this team is a bit weak to us. Boswell, um, Pinsir, you just gotta keep Magirna healthy or just keep Necrozm healthy and t wave if you see Pinsir. Or be working also take a hit. Because he has Fluffy. I think he has to have quick here, right? I'm gonna go to Alma Mala because I wanna save my. <clears throat> Tapu Lily. And Misty Turn is up, so I cannot status him. Uh, I'm just gonna wish. Uh, I, I had a really cool Wi Fi battle with this team earlier. Lost really close. I think 2 0. Because um, the guy had a DD Como O and a crit, my beware. Otherwise, I would have lived. It was like a plus one Sky uppercut. I called Beware would have lived. It was like 10% because of Fluffy. But yeah, he crit me. Um, I'm gonna go hard. No, no, not hard type of Lily. I'm just gonna skull here in case he brave birds. I think he will win it. Okay, that works out perfectly. We can just um, go for RSV in case he wants to go guard chomp. In case he wants to roost, anything like that. Yeah, and what I was, I was, <laughs> what I wanted to tell you is, I lost the Wi-Fi battle too because one because of that crit. But two, because I didn't know um, multi attack. Let me actually data that. The attack that um, varies based on the health memory. Exactly. Base po 90 power. Okay, I didn't know it was physical, right? And I lost to this guy. How's the Pokemon called? Silvali. I lost to Silvali. Arceus. That's Velocify knows. I'm just gonna throw Candace Jump here. I don't care if you pivot to Saddle Stealer, your Saddle Stealer is low, let me get a crit there, I guess. Let me say sorry, but I don't, I don't think that matters. Yeah, so I, my element model is with on his team. Um, to check, um, like mainly it's for, um, to scout with his choice specs Tabu Lily. If they go for Psychic, Magirna can eat it, but it still takes like a decent chunk. And if they would if they would predict Magirna and go for HP fire, that's why my Alma Mola is there. It's there to make like a mid ground play. Um, I'm just gonna go for a slow volt switch as he does the same. Okay, he's probably gonna jump here. I can see that. Yeah, these battles are going decently well. Like considering I'm still a bit sick and I haven't played months in a, like two days. I mean, I've still watched some Pokétubers. He's like the scummy. That's fun me. I'm just gonna go here and to be where the god on the Krosma. If I go be where he can go into Chomp. I feel like the Krosma's the play. So yeah, I lost my train of thought again. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I hope you still uh, enjoy the content. I actually wanted to like. I want to inter interact more with my viewers. Um, what is my play? Is my play getting up rocks to break a potential sash on a chomp? Um, nah, I'm just gonna go hunt Magirna. Even though this might... Why is he vault switching? God, he got me good. Like, I want to start uh, doing question <laughs> questions of the day and stuff like that. Okay, this guy is... Uh, like, if you guys um, have any serious ideas you want me to do, uh, like, leave a leave a comment and if you... Like, I, co I made um, like a collaboration, right, with Dennis the Menace and with BTB and Super TK. And um, it's T bra with all these people, right? Like, you can tell me, um, please, in the comments down below, which of these people did you uh, like the most on the channel? Um, I'm gonna go Alan Molly here. I don't wanna sack my Magirna because I like Magirna. I just got my Magirna on 3DS with Q QR code. Uh, let me wish up. 
So yeah, let me let me know in the comments which of these guys did you do you want to see back on my channel? Mm. Do I go to Sidra or Magirna here? I feel like I may go Magirna here because I should live with a salt vest. Okay, I think t might have been off. <laughs> I don't think I would have left the t -ball. So yeah. Um, BTB is a really good player. Uh, let me know if you want to see him back on the channel. Super TK is like a fun guy. He's also not bad. Like, nothing against him, but he talks a bit too much shit on Skype sometimes. Let's yeah, so just go back. Alma Muller as he doubles. Fine by me. We protect. Yeah, this endgame is a bit boring and long. I hope you guys, you guys are still having some fun. Um, this team is lagging like this guy's dropping dots and shit. This team needs some speed control now that I look at it, but I built this in one minute, like I'm not even lying. I just wanted to use uh, AV McGeerna because Tapu later is really scary. And I wanted to use uh, freaking Choice Banner Beware because it's cool. Fluffy is a great ability. And Choice Picks Tapu later because it breaks everything, like no switch in. This guy's doubling around, but he's not accomplishing anything because Stapu Coco is taking live warp damage, and we should hit the 1600s after this battle. And I'm gonna throw off a Scald just to chip more. If I get a burn, this would be lovely, but I don't get a burn. Electric Terrain ended, which is amazing. I wish I had Miracle on this Alma Mauler. Just go to Situa here uh, in case we T bolts, yeah. Because we eat that up and we can go for any energy ball. And if he doesn't have Brief Bird, he cannot kill me. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this team. I played like, I think like 12 games, like 3 or 4 days ago. One day before I got sick. And. I won every game besides one where I got really jive and tried to earthquake a buzzball to catch a magnezone <laughs> and she stayed in and I lost my pincer. Like that version of the team had pincer of a Tapu Lele like I mentioned earlier. I don't know why this guy's talking shit. I will <laughs> Um I was thinking about if I should remove the chat. Yeah, this guy was talking shit, so I'm gonna six so and now, uh, cause screw you, dude. I guess if he crits me, that's not a six so. But I will do my best. Two six oh you. Not even sorry, cause you were annoying me in the chat. Doesn't hurt himself. Lucky players, man. Just kidding. Just kidding. I actually got lucky this life that I didn't get. That my Alma Mola didn't get Sludge Bomb Poison as he forfeits. We are 3 0. My voice is still not that. Like, it doesn't hurt anymore. Like, the last days it hurt when, it hurt when I was speaking. But yeah, it's still better that I keep this a bit shorter. It's already 29 minutes because the battles were a bit long with my wish passing around for. Like, I guess I played that a bit too passive. Just because I didn't want to sack him on, I always try to wish everything back. I didn't play optimal, but I won every game, so hey, hey, I'm not complaining. So yeah, if you have fun teams, guys, hit me up, hit me up. Um, again, hope the microphone was fine and this one I'm gonna hear myself soon. If you enjoyed, you can uh, leave a like and subscribe I would greatly appreciate that thank you guys for watching I love my viewers I'm actually gonna do um, giveaways I might do giveaways soon um like I might give away a battle a team I use I will use like I will build a team and I will use it on showdown or on a Wi-Fi battle and if you guys like the team 
I might give it away to the lucky winner. I might do that giveaway from if I hit 200 subscribers. Oh yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. I think we hit 178 subscribers. I even gained some new subs the last days even though I haven't uploaded. So I'm really grateful for that that my channel is... It's not big at all, but I'm thankful for every new viewer. Yeah, let me let me know what you think about the giveaway, but um, if you just here for the giveaway, I mean, if you made it till here till the end of the video, you probably thank you so much that you watched till the end. You're probably not just here for the giveaway if you made it till the end, but um, what I meant to say is my giveaway will be um, a thank you for for your support, guys, and. I want the winner to be like someone that enjoys my content and I want him like I want to give him something back. I don't just want this to be some random guy that like like if I make the giveaway with you and I will say you have to like like my video and comment on it, share it with your friends and stuff. And like maybe this is some random guy who just subscribes to me just so he can win in the giveaway. I wouldn't like that. I would like to give um, an active subscriber that enjoys my content something back, like I would say, I want to say thank you for the content. But yeah, um, I hope this wasn't too long. They're rambling at the end. So yeah, you you guys can like choose what you want me to do for the giveaway. You can either like send me a team you want me to gen for you, or you can um, ask for a team I used in one of my videos. Pokebank is not out yet, so. Pre-bank teams are like only thing I can do at the moment, but yeah. Anyways, there was a way too long dog coach signing out. Peace, friends.